In this video, we're going to look at how you can add an international keyboard to your Chromebook. The first thing you'll need to do is open your Chrome browser and go to chrome.google.com slash webstore slash category slash extensions. You can also just go to Google and search for the Google Chrome Web Store. When you are here, we are going to search for a specific extension. So we'll click on the search bar and we will choose Google Input Tools. Hit enter. This is the extension we'd like to add. It's been created by Google, so we know it's compatible with our Chromebooks. It has a A teal badge on top of a keyboard. This is the icon we're looking for. When you have found the correct extension, choose Add to Chromebook. A pop-up window will ask for permission and choose Add Extension. It is now available in the top right corner of your Chrome browser, again with this teal tag on top of a keyboard. So the first thing we need to do is add your keyboards. All of your extensions live up here in the top right corner of your Chrome browser. If you do not see the icon, and for us, this is a teal badge with the letter A on it on top of a keyboard, you need to click on this puzzle piece. Here is a list of your tools. Only the ones that have a blue pin icon are automatically visible at the top. Add a pin next to this keyboard icon so that you can access it more easily. Now, the first time we click on it, I would like to add some options. So extension options is my selection. And here is a list of all of the available keyboards. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm looking for my Spanish keyboard. Now I can see there are a couple different options. What I'm looking for is one that has a keyboard option or a keyboard icon, excuse me, on the left. And I want to make sure that it has the Spanish symbols. So I'm going to choose this one and then click this arrow to move the keyboard from the left side of my screen now to being listed as a selected tool on the right side of my screen. You can do this for multiple languages. French students can also do the same thing by finding the keyboard icon with the French symbols. And now you have your international keyboards ready. I can close this window. Now, when it's time to do my homework, I can go and click on this icon at the top. Now I have a list of my possible keyboard choices. I'm going to choose the Spanish keyboard. Notice that when this keyboard is active, that icon changes to a blue active keyboard. What this is doing is turning the keys on my Chromebook into different symbols. It will take a little bit of getting used to, and sometimes it helps to watch the keyboard. I'm going to click on the blue keyboard icon and I am going to choose Show Keyboard. By doing this, I now have a floating keyboard that shows me what keys I need to use. So to type this sentence, I will do, uh, see, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And I am looking at the keyboard at the bottom to help me figure out. And I can hit the shift key on my keyboard to see. There we go, to see the keyboards I need. So like I said, it will take a bit of getting used to, but you can see how you can use the symbols in different ways. You can also choose to just click directly on this keyboard to access the symbols you need. When you are done and you need your standard keyboard back for your other classes, I will X out of that pop-up window, but I need to turn off my active keyboard. I will click on the blue keyboard and choose Turn Off. The keyboard is now deactivated.